Gotta get more followers. Everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, it's a it's a bit of a long one. It's a bit of an extensive video, but guys, it's been a while since I've I've done the A to Z, the nuts and bolts, the entire way through the whole enchilada, signing up for, passing, and getting funded with a trader valuation company. And I thought, you know what? What better company to go through this process again than with Take Profit Trader? That's right, guys. So stick with me i'm gonna put timestamps down below i'm already imagining this video will be a little bit on the longer side so like i said we are going to start with signing up then i'm going to take you through the days of my trading and then the funding process as well so first things first take profit trader one of my very top five recommended funded futures trader programs guys I uh, can't say enough good about them. Take Profit Trader been taking the industry by storm. They've been doing a whole lot to really stand out. Um, and one of those things is by having fantastic promotions and contests. So the current promotion, as I record this, I'm recording right now, as you are listening to me, June 25th, 2023. We're going to be signing up. It's Sunday evening. Um, guys, the current promo is 40% off. And then when you pass your valuation, you move into a pro account, fret not, but you also then get a second free evaluation. Do what you want with that account. Uh, my recommendation would obviously be go through that evaluation and uh, possibly, quite possibly, have two funded pro accounts uh, once you complete that second evaluation. Guys, you can use code CFT. Nice, simple, short, sweet. You're going to get 40% off. And guess what? Use that code CFT. Even if you're seeing this video in the future, you're thinking CFT. It is well beyond uh, June 25th, 2023. I, I was a little bit tardy in watching your video. That's okay. Code CFT will always get you the latest, greatest promo at Take Profit Trader. So let's scroll on down. I'm, I'm thinking like a trader, guys. I'm, you know, my what what am I most interested in? I mean, I love a, li a lovely website. I love all the cool graphics. But the first thing I got to admit, I go to the pricing. I go to the rules. I go to what size of accounts do they have? Now, trader evaluation, kind of the parameters here, um, pass in 10 days. They do have a consistency rule, so you can technically reach the profit goal within, I'm going to say three days. I'll explain why in a, in a second, uh, but you have to trade for at least 10 days. Once you move into that pro account, you can withdraw from day one. Once you're in the pro account, withdrawal process is immediate. No scaling when it comes to the test account or the pro account. So we can go full clip. And if you, if you've been around for a while, I'm going to say, you know, already, I like to go big and I like to go full clip. That's just me. That's my style. Just scalping those ultra bonds guys. You can reset it up to three times. There's a one time $130 fee for the pro account and then live support available during the trading day. Guys, let's get down here. Let's get down here. I want to, I want to examine, I want to take a, a closer look at these trader evaluation accounts. Now, for me, there's no question where we don't have to hesitate. We can just go ahead and click right here. 150 K account is where I'm going default. No questions asked guys. I go for the biggest, I go for the greatest. It's why I have over 1.7 million in nominal funded accounts at this point. Now they have something for everybody though. I realize not everybody's a CFT you know, a bit of a veteran. I uh, so call myself of the funded futures trader world. Guys been around for many years, had a lot of success. Default going to the biggest, but some for everybody. If you're new, you're starting off, this is your first time. Hey, welcome to the channel. Encourage you to learn a lot before you just dive in. But when you do so, think about what account size suits you the best. So with that 40% discount, we are gonna be paying $216 a month. Certainly our plan would be obviously to pass uh, in probably the minimum amount of time. guys nothing is guaranteed in life but uh, i think we can i think we can do pretty well with this i'm feeling energetic i'm feeling excited i'm feeling motivated i'm feeling i'm feeling accomplished already i haven't even I haven't even signed up i already feel accomplished just take profit traders giving me that sense of encouragement so guys i want to go over the two kind of things here if you will no trading bots now i'm not a trading bot user so i for lack of a better term, I could care less about this. It doesn't matter. I am a discretionary trader. I scalp the treasuries, the ultra bonds. So no automated trading is what they're basically saying. 
consistency rule will apply to everybody. So let's take a look at that. Trade for a minimum of 10 days, no problemo. Uh, most profitable day cannot be more than 50% of your total profit. Now this is where I say it's honestly gonna take you three days to pass, right? Because unless you can nail that 50% exactly both days and make it two days, it's not worth the effort to try and do so. You have to trade at least 10 days anyways. So of course, formulate your own game plan for this guys but my general game plan if i was to outline sort of an umbrella a high level if you will will be to take the profit target we're gonna look at the targets here in a second split it up over three days there you go 33 percent each day that is my rough goal not for everybody some people would rather spread it over 10 days some people would rather spread it over two months and that is completely okay as well really each trader needs to decide what works best for them, what they feel the most comfortable with, you know, what your time constraints are, what the products you trade give you, you know, on a daily basis, etc. Myself, again, we all know I like to go full clip, big size, go in, nail it, take only the best of the best of the best, the A plus. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Pocket aces types of trades. Uh, our goal is going to be 33% or basically a third each day. So here's our goals. Our profit target is nine grand. Makes it real simple. Guys, I'm gonna break out my calculator. Don't even need to. $3,000 a day is our profit target. We can trade up to 15 contracts. And as I mentioned up above, there's no scaling, so we can go in full clip and do that. Now, be very aware, of course, with any company, this one included, uh, what your daily loss limit is, is 3,300, and as well, your end of day trailing drawdown is 4,500. Now, if you're not as familiar with daily loss limits and the day trailing drawdowns, I encourage you to do some research and understand that, but I will say that this kind of setup is favorable for the traders. It's not a trailing drawdown throughout the day. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's step one. We've already, we are in, we are in, we know we're in, we love take profit trader. Let's go ahead and sign up. Obviously I'm going to have to blank out a little bit of my personal info for this sign up process. Um, but step one, let's go ahead. We've decided we're in, let's go ahead and sign up. Okay, guys, the sign up process is done. Congratulations to us. Our subscription is successfully created. We're going to get this confirmation email within 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so first thing you're going to get this confirmation email just saying thank you. Thanks for signing up with Take Profit Trader. You need to connect your data feed, very standard, obviously. So they have documentation in, your, in their knowledge base, which I obviously encourage you to take a look at if you're not familiar with how to set these uh, accounts up, etc. So let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, up next. So we log into our dashboard on Take Profit Trader. It will show us here. Here's our account. I selected the CQG connection. Subscription is active. We signed up today. Our renewal one month from now would be July 25th. Now it's currently pending as we go through the process of setting up our account. Okay guys, so next step, we click on that information. Now I have a bit of a blanked out, obviously, but basically this will give you your information to log in. So I'm gonna use my Trade of Eight login information, pop on over and get my account all set up. Okay guys, so next thing next, after I went to Trade of Eight, signed in, you have to accept the two user agreements, no problem, click, click. Encourage you to read the documentation, but then you will be brought here. We're gonna go ahead and click simulation, continue. Now we are all set up in Trade of Aid. I apologize. I know it's kind of cut off at the top. So this was just to kind of go through the process of activating the account, all of that. I personally do not trade using the actual Trade of Aid software. I keep it logged in only so I can monitor things like my account balance, etc. cetera. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to do my trading through Jigsaw Day Trader, which is my preferred trading platform. I know it's not for everybody. So some of the trading part might not be as exciting for people. Um, but just know that at least we'll be able to check our stats and whatnot within the Trade of Eight application here. So right now I'm going to go ahead, pop over to Jigsaw, log in, connect my Trade of Eight account, which takes like under a minute, and uh, we will be up and running. Guys, fast forwarding just a little bit. So the next step would be um, you, when you log into your Take Profit Trader dashboard, you'll see your active account. You can click on it. You drop down. You'll see a few things. One, you'll see a um, because I went the trade of eight data CQG connection. So you'll see that information, that login information. You'll also see a license key for Ninja Trader. So if you're brand new to all this, you need Ninja Trader. Um, you can download Ninja Trader, use your license key, get that all set up. That's not really what this video is about. You will want to log in through the trade of eight website. 
click the two agreements, agree to them, sign it, digitally, you just type your name in, hit accept, and you're up and running. Your account will be up and running in like no time. It's basically ready to go. Now, because NinjaTrader bought out Trade of Aid, in the past those were kind of mutually exclusive companies, but now they're one in the same. So even though we technically picked the Trade of Aid login, we can log in through NinjaTrader. I chose to do that, so I'll just say a few things here now because this is where it gets confusing sometimes for new traders because there's lots of different routes you can go and it all ultimately just feeds the same evaluation. If you want to use Trade of Eight, um, which is web-based software, they have an application or you can just log in through your browser, you can do that. You log, you go to tradeofeight.com, log in, use the info on your Take Profit Trader dashboard and you are up and running, set up your charts, all that stuff, you're good to go. If you want to use NinjaTrader, obviously set that up, download it, enter your license key if you have to, if you don't have a copy. But you can also log in to NinjaTrader using that same login. Because NinjaTrader and Trade of Eight are one and the same now, you'll be logging into the same account. So I'll just take, uh, draw your attention here to a few things. You see down here, um, I'm logged into the display name, Take Profit Trader, and I kind of have it hidden a little bit. My 150k account. Um, what I have hidden here is my, I'm also logged into my own personal NinjaTrader account. Now this is a step beyond. This will not apply to pretty much everybody. I personally have a NinjaTrader brokerage account. I pay for data through it. I like to leverage that data. I run all of my trader evaluations and all my funded accounts through NinjaTrader um, for a reason I'll get to here in a second. So for me, it's just easier rather than logging into um, trade of eight for each account and it's a little bit more slightly more complex to link jigsaw day trader which you're looking at as well to trade of eight so again this is probably getting more confusing than it needs to be point being i run all my accounts through ninja trader so here i am i'm logged into ninja trader my own account and my take profit trader account now on top of that what's occupying the bulk of the screen here is jigsaw day trader again Third-party software, I personally use it. I love it. It is definitely not for everybody. I don't encourage you to just run out and buy Jigsaw Day Trader for the hell of it. Um, most people starting out will be perfectly fine with just Ninja Trader or Trade of Eight. Um, but because I use Jigsaw, the way I have mine set up is it is uh, effectively bridged to Ninja Trader. So all this data that is in moving very quickly right now because it's a Sunday evening is being pulled through Ninja Trader. So Jigsaw is effectively like a different interface, if you will, for the same account. So you'll see up here, it says like take profit, take profit. Those are kind of the active accounts. So if I was to make a trade here, you would see that trade register down here as well. So just a complete aside, that's a hundred percent aside guys, just so you know, because the next few days I do only trade exclusively in Jigsaw. So when I do my trading, we're going to see it happen up here. Um, we'll see our balances reflected down here though in Ninja Trader. And, uh, we have our, we have our mission guys. Uh, our goal three days, $3,000 a day. Let's pass this thing. Let's, uh, then we'll finish up the 10 days. And then guess what? We're going to get ourselves that free extra evaluation account on top of the pro account that we're going to pass. So I know 10 trading days is a little bit further out there, so I might cut this video series off just after we, and again, I'm not saying if, I always say when, when we pass the evaluation, because we like to think positive here, and we're going to do it. When we pass the evaluation in terms of the profit goal, it's pretty safe to uh, end the series there, and then perhaps I'll do a second video series down the road in a few weeks when, you know, I get all the confirmations and we get our pro account and all that type of stuff. So uh, that's it. Looking forward to showing you guys some trades. We'll do a little bit of ultra bond here over the next three days, but uh, excited to give Take Profit Trader a try and let's see how it goes. All right, everyone, it is Monday, June 26th, just after 9 a.m. You can see that down here. We are ready to get going. We got our Take Profit accounts loaded up. Uh, we can trade up to 15 accounts. So I've got five set as kind of my default entry size. Uh, so we can scale in. Or I'm not big on scaling in, but sometimes, it, if anything, it would be more of a scale out type of situation. I uh, got my account here to show you real quick. Take Profit 150. So we have not done any trading yet. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. I've been watching the market. So far, not a ton of activity. Jigsaw has been a little finicky, I've noticed. Uh, just with the coloring on the numbers here. Like, these should all be white. And I noticed it just glitched. I mean, the trading part is fine. This is fine. Just, there you go. See, like, the white just pops back in. Like, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but we will live with it. I'm not too, too worried. 
So we're going to be looking for some trades, make some money, get in, get out, be done with our day. That's my motto, guys. I like to trade the mornings and be done. Done by noon for sure. Oftentimes just done by 11, 11.30. There's, uh, the activity just slows down in the afternoon. There's more to life. There's things to do. So it's been a little frisky. It started off slow. But uh, so we're getting some activity. But that's what we like. We need some movement. We need some activity. We need a bit of volatility in order to make a buck out here. It's kind of my sweet spot. Don't want it to be too wild. When it's too wild, it's just hard to chase down. It's, it's a waste of time. That's why I don't like MQ. When it's pretty much a stalemate, also real tough because you're just trying to scalp one tick at that point, and that uh, makes it a little tough. So right now, this... This feels good. We're feeling good for our Monday, guys. We're going to hit this. Uh, just waiting for a nice little opportunity. Watching here. Watching here primarily. Looking for an indication of some serious pressure coming in one direction or the other. No bias. Don't care if it goes up, goes down, goes sideways. If it goes sideways, well, something's a miss. Just a reminder. I probably said it a million times. But timestamps down below if you ever want to jump uh to different parts of the video, the different trades. Of course, take profit trader, use that code CFT, nice, short, simple. Get yourself 40% off currently, or whatever the current promo is, you can participate with the code CFT. James and the fellows over there at take profit, working hard, I know they are. I've talked to them guys. They're working hard to be, uh, to be the best. A lot of competition out there, but they are definitely up there, guys, they are. They are putting in the effort, putting in the work. All right, guys, we are getting in 15 full clip out of the gate. Explain why uh, I've been playing in this area, but a few times before I start recording, I watched it kind of stroll on down and back up. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to the downside here, at least for a few, few ticks. Um, what we're also seeing, and maybe even more important uh, for what's on your screen, we're seeing a lot of pressure here from the sellers, seeing the buyers uh, pull away and thin out. So, might get a few few ticks here, get it to bop down. Haven't said a take profit. Um, I'm gonna set one right here. It's in general, my goal, if I had an average, it's about three point something ticks per trade. So this is perfect, three to four. It's kind of, again, sweet spot, just over time. Uh, you kind of realize and through statistics and analysis and just uh, observing what works best for you uh, and understanding how the products move, kind of like what's the possibility of movements. You know, it's not going to go flying down here out of nowhere. Alright guys, we're creeping down, creeping down into profit territory, so now comes the the ever decision. Do we just be happy with this, or do we think there's some potential to move down even further? So Realize profit, $1,800, not bad for our very first trades. Okay, guys, trade number two coming up next. The U.S. market's open now. We are breaking the lows here, seeing a ton of sell pressure. Uh, markets just opened, obviously, a few minutes ago, so uh, we're going to jump on the bandwagon here real quick. We're, we're missing out on opportunity already as I speak. Let's just get in here. So the classic, I call it the classic, if you go to my website, now actually, before I ramble about that, we have to be aware of our profit goals, etc. We know that we can't make more than 4500 in a given day. Um, I'm going to back up and talk about that more in a second, but so let's do some quick math. We said we want to make at least three grand, which would be uh, roughly right here. So we could get out here, we made our three grand for the day. We can make up to 4500 So in theory... We can make close to another three grand. So I would say right here, if we hit this, that would be fantastic. Now, it doesn't mean that we're going to, but for now, I'm just going to set my 
take profit there just so we don't pass it. Um, and we are definitely seeing some movement here, so uh, it'd be pretty exciting uh, to come in, hit that for our second trade, less than an hour. We are in and out for the day, but let's see. We're not there yet, guys. We're not there yet. Now, a few things. Got a lot to say and a little time to say it. We could set a stop loss here just so we don't screw ourselves. Um, okay guys i apologize i almost never have problems with jigsaw but it has been i mentioned earlier it was glitching and it is hardcore glitching right now so i'm going to try to catch you up real quick on what's happening you don't see any trades here but i'm still in my trade i had to shut down jigsaw reopen it that's why everything cleared out you can see my active trade here for take profit trader short okay we are going to get out of this trade i'm just going to close it manually in Okay, and there's my account with my balance with the two trades closed. Um, so we got 3600. I legitimately, it's actually, I'll admit, a little frustrating. Um, Jigsaw, like, blanked out. Uh, I might even leave that in the video. I don't know, just so you can see it. I had to, like, shut it down, open it, and when I reopen it, even though I bring up my take profit, it didn't show the active trade, but obviously it was still active in NinjaTrader. Well, um, doesn't make for the best video, guys. I'm going to have to troubleshoot Jigsaw a little bit. But at least we can see. For the day, we're up 3,600. So our goal was 3,000. I think it's a good place to uh, call it quits on this one. Also, hey, if anything, this is a great opportunity to say how it's, uh, it's important to have a backup, uh, backup going. Because there is a way to log into Jigsaw to your account and you're just through Jigsaw, not use NinjaTrade or anything else. So if that was the case and Jigsaw crashed or froze or anything, I wouldn't have had a secondary way to get out of the trade. So running it kind of through Ninja Trader works well. Um, or if you use uh, Rhythmic and you have the Rhythmic software open, whatever you do, um, having a backup isn't necessarily the worst thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm a little puzzled, honestly, of what's going on with Jigsaw. I've been using Jigsaw for over two years and it just seems glitchy. Uh, could be to do with, I know Ninja Trader has been a few new versions lately. It seemed to be running well up till this morning. So, um, I think we will call it here, even though we could make up to an additional 900. One, we're having problems with Jigsaw. Two, hey, it's good to be self-aware. Recognize, hey, CFT, you seem a little tilted. You seem not yourself right now. You're a little frustrated with how things went there with the software. So, good to recognize that. Realize that uh, shouldn't probably continue on trading and hey uh, Take a step back. We made 3600 for day one. So guys, that's it for day one stick around We'll see what we do on day two. Oh, this is a good start. This is a real good start guys Okay guys, this is a little post day one add-on um, I had a question, something was bothering me through the day, and uh, I finally, I, not that I finally figured it out, once I actually looked at it, it made sense, but I figured some of you might have uh, wondered as well, and it has to do with just my balance and the commissions. Um, because this is like such an even number, my first blush thought was, did this deduct the commissions properly? Um, so I did some math and realized that yes, it did. So right now, the time, I don't have the time thingy up here, I can actually move it up here, um, is you know, 7 41 p.m. so uh, it's technically day two we're not going to be trading you can see there is basically nil activity in the treasuries in the evening that's why i don't trade so i did two trades on day one right and both of them resulted in a four tick profit now um i know the second one got kind of goofed up i'm going to talk about that in a sec but it was it ended up being a four tick winner the first one was also a four tick winner so let's do some quick math i just want to show that this balance is actually correct and deducting the commissions um, so I traded 15 contracts and each tick in the ultra bond is $31.25. So each tick for 15 would be 468.75. Now we came out with a four tick winner. So we're going to times by four. So 18.75. Now, if you remember after my very first trade, you don't even have to remember, you can go back if you want to see the balance was exactly 1800. So there's a $75 difference. So that all kind of makes sense because if we where's my clear button here if we take that 75 dollar difference and divide it by 15 it's five dollars so basically there's a five dollar commission per contract um each firm is different uh obviously but it usually ranges from 
three to five in general it can be slightly off from there but whatever so five dollar commission um so that totally made sense and then obviously it so if we net 1800 and we do that times two this is after commissions 3600 there's our 3600 so all is good it was just that this number was like so even that it just kind of left i got off the computer i was like is that really right or did it not do the commission so we are square um, the second trade, if you remember, you probably remember since it just happened a few minutes ago in video land, um, I had to close manually and I did it in Ninja Trader. And at the time I closed it, it showed like my profit was like 2,300 and something. Why I only net it technically. So that would have been five ticks. That would have been a five tick winner. Why I only got four ticks is because when you do a market close, you don't do a limit order. It just gives you the worst. It gives you the market price. It gives you the worst of the two prices, right? There's a bid and an ask. You're going to get the worst price. So the price Ninja Trader was reflecting was five ticks. Assuming that the very last trade had taken place at the five tick level because I just manually popped it out said close this trade It gave me the the worst of the price. So that's why I got four ticks there So hopefully that clarifies if anyone even picked up on that if you didn't uh, Don't worry about it now as for that first trade um, I think I'd started to explain like why I entered in and whatnot and then things got goofy Basically, you know the market was open the US market the prices were just charging down It was like a full steam ahead type of situation. I was breaking the lows. So So if you come to my website and you go to the free futures course There's a whole course, but specifically most people love page four, which is my playbook These are all the trade setups. I I take uh, the catch-up is one that I like, but this one was really a break low type of situation. So there's a few examples here. Or I guess there's only one example of that one. I should uh, should maybe add on a second one at some point. But guys, um, so when you get those break lows, it tends to be a bit of a runaway train. Not always. Nothing is certain. Always happens in the world of trading, of course. Uh, but because we had that like violent kind of momentum, just pushing down, pushing down. Fully expected we could get that push down and get a few more ticks, which is exactly what we got. So that was kind of the reason for entering that trade. I know I didn't get, end up getting into it too much because then it disappeared off my screen. And I wouldn't say I freaked out, but I had to handle that uh, situation, if you will, and make sure that everything was closed and good. And um, yeah, so just in case you're wondering why I got into that trade, I, I know, I mean, I apologize, but I mean, I don't know what happened there. I actually ended up watching Jigsaw for um, a good while after. I mean, it was a little goofy, but it seemed to be working okay. So I honest to God don't know what happened there. I am fingers crossed. All is good. I almost wish I could have figured out what happened because then I know what to change or what to fix. But I didn't figure out what, what did work. It just seemed to be a glitch. So fingers crossed going into day two, which will be tomorrow morning. So guys, on that quick note, just so you know, um, be sure to check out my sites. And uh, while you're doing that, uh, we will then roll into day number two. All right, everybody, welcome to day number two, currently 9.37 a.m. Been uh, watching the market for a little while, wanted to make sure Jigsaw was behaving, and so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm feeling encouraged this morning. All the all the colors are right. I know it seems simple, but uh, nothing stands out as odd so far. It's not jumpy, nothing like that. So whatever's happened yesterday, which I do not know what that was, but... Fingers crossed we're good. Anyways, I will stop talking about it. All right, just to revisit my balance and start the day off. So no trades yet. Still at 153,600 as demonstrated last night. That reflects the commissions as well. So we're good to go. Game plan this morning. Day number two, same as yesterday. Less the antics. Get in a few good trades. Shoot for somewhere between 3,000 and 4,500 as the profit goal. And uh, we'll be done for the day. And then tomorrow will be our final day. Final meaning we can reach the profit goal tomorrow. Now, as discussed at the beginning of the video, there's a 10-day trading window we need to participate in with Take Profit Trader. So we're going to have to make trades the remaining. Let's assume that we pass in three days or reach the profit goal in three days. I'm still going to have to make trades for seven more days. They won't be in this video because those will strictly just be enter trade and exit a trade. Um, it's pretty common practice people use to just sort of get in the days. I like I liken it to uh, in football, American football, when uh, it's the end of the game and the winning team has the ball. They just need to kill the clock. 
uh, they just, uh, you know, they, they hike the ball and then they just spike it just to get the clock running. It's kind of like that. You're just uh, hiking the ball each day and then spiking it just to get, count the day. So most people use the micros to do that. Myself, I usually just use like the 10 year treasuries. It's uh, half of the value of the ultra bond and I'll just quickly get in for one contract and get out. Even if I take a $12 or sorry, $15 loss, uh, $15 plus. Uh, no big deal. We usually shoot for it. We don't try to just hit 9,000 and scrape by. You know, we're going to go for a little over 9,000, of course. Another little game plan idea for you if you're new to this. You quickly figure that out. So, so far, nothing. Uh, in the last little bit, I watched uh, the Ultrabon march right on up here, but then uh, pull right on back. So, we're going to watch and see see what the world of Ultrabons gives us today. Each day is unique. Never go into the day with a bias. I'm not like, today it's going to rally. It's amazing how many times I see people discussing, like, the markets. Like, today's, today's, like, the market's going up for sure. Like, X, Y, Z, and blah, blah, blah. And there's, there's really no reason to kind of have that predisposition. I just uh, read, see what the market tells me. What is What are the tea leaves here telling me today? Other products, like an NQ or something, yes. This would be useless. At some point, I should show you what NQ looks like on here, just to show you how useless it is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now because um, not much is happening here. So hang on for just a second. Okay, just for fun, I made a quick depth of market for NQ. So this is NQ. As you can see, besides the fact that it's moving quickly, um, especially, and I wouldn't even, like, this is... I mean, it's rapid, but I've seen it even worse. Um, at some points, the screen is just scrolling. It's moving up. It's moving down. You don't even know which way is which. Like, yes, this is very difficult to look at on uh, for NQ. So if you're an NQ trader, Jigsaw, this would effectively be useless because the whole point of using order flow and depth of market is examining the limit orders, the buys, the sells, seeing where the pressure is, etc., this is moving in split seconds. This is just changing, and you're only seeing depths of like what one, two, three, four contracts. Like it's not a lot. So there's zero intel to be had from the depth of market, in my opinion, um, with this. People do other things. They will correlate this with like e, uh, ES. So they might use like ES uh, as a correlation or use ES to make decisions because ES does move a little bit slower, obviously, than this. But all intents and purposes, NQ is a bust. So let's go back to what I actually enjoy doing, which is trading the treasuries. All right, guys, we are back with a much more familiar, much more tame treasuries. I know it's a little bit slower moving, a lot more slower moving, but uh, that's what makes this information valuable. Since I closed this template, if you will, uh, and reopened it, if you're wondering why the, uh, the ticker tapes here emptied out, that's why when you close them you basically lose all the intel it has to repopulate so it's just populating as trades are happening all right guys i think we're about to take our first trade here it's just non-stop downward pressure the last 20 minutes 10 minutes um and now we're starting to get towards this low so i'm gonna go ahead and get in for 15 we're going short let's see if we can uh maximize this all right oh already in the green these are the favorite types of trades patience paid off because it was moving around up here a little bit there's always that temptation like oh maybe i should just get in but no uh, wait and be patient yes i probably could have gotten a bit earlier but hey we will take it um now of course we need this to continue so okay so obviously just uh Besides managing the active trade, keeping an eye over here, we also need to just be cognizant of over here. So we set our goal is between three grand and forty five hundred. So, um, you know, this would pretty. I mean, so forty five hundred is obviously between these two levels. If you're not familiar, Jigsaw, this is like your basically what your profit or loss will be at any given price. Now we're short fifteen contracts, so there's big, you know, four hundred fifty dollar jumps basically between each price. So. If we really want to nail 4,500, we could get out some contracts here, some here, if it got down to here, if we want to maximize. But right now, we're that's not a problem to have. So, But it's important to know this, so you don't just get lost in the trade and it starts charging down and you think, oh, this is great. And next thing you know, you've made $7,000 and 
uh, you've blown your consistency rule. I've seen it happen to the best of people or people who just don't either understand or even know that there is a consistency rule. They assume they can just go in and make it all in one day and that's not the case. Alright, well we were up two or three ticks, right now we're sitting at even, but uh, fret not. It's part of trading, they're not always all just going to march exactly 100% in your way. Seriously? Alright guys, well unfortunately, just like yesterday, the data disappeared we are still in an active trade we're up 3200 right now but um the intel on here is missing so definitely not super pleased with jigsaw right now i have no idea what's going on um well we're up i mean we can watch oh there we go like it literally just populated you saw it here live it was nothing and then all of a sudden my short in red here and the prices came up all right well i'm going to leave this up because we are going to Unless I can set, let's try and set a take profit here, see if it even registers. It did. Okay. So here, we're going to just try to get out for all three here. Um, but certainly we're going to leave this up. So if things go against us, I mean, I could set a stop loss as well, I guess. But um, let's do, I'm very hesitant to do much with, okay. Problem solved, guys. We hit our target. So, hmm. I'm not loving how this is going. I had visions of recording for three days and really explaining all my trades and stuff. Instead, it's coming a bit of a use case of why Jigsaw's a little finicky right now. Let's take a look at the account. Okay, guys, so here's the account. That was our one trade today, 4,100, etc. Um, so again, after commissions. So we're, 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 we're sitting pretty, guys. I mean, in terms of the trade, Jigsaw issues aside, and I'm very disappointed in that because I've always been a huge proponent of Jigsaw, but just like this week, it's all of a sudden finicky. I'll stop complaining about it. Um, so we are at 7,750 essentially in profit right now. Goal is 9,000. So we are just about, let's call it 14 or uh, 1,300 away. Um, as I mentioned earlier, though, we always want to go above and beyond so that we have wiggle room for the following remaining seven days so we can you know, do a trade in and out each day. So, um, likewise tomorrow, today's short and sweet, one trade, uh, nice little profit here. Uh, patience paid off a little bit there. Now, what is it even like we waited 10 or 20 minutes before entering a trade, waited for the tea leaves, the markets, the dark arts to give us an indication they were marching down. They continued to march down and that's uh, where we reaped our rewards on that trade. So like I said, game plan tomorrow now will be to make, we need to make 1300 more or 1400 more uh we'll shoot for say 2000 like literally 2000 uh a few different options tomorrow uh i know what i will typically do and that is to just trade exactly the same as i trade every day so um some people though they might look at this and go okay well i don't i don't need as much so i'm going to scale down a bit a little bit reduce the variability you know if you actually took a bad trade it won't hurt as bad so that would certainly be an option I'm more likely to just go in. We're going to go in looking for the best of the best. I'm going full clip, but I'm looking for the ultimate best. Uh, we seriously only need about, uh, honestly, a four tick winner tomorrow would put us up and above 9,000. So if we can find one nice four tick winner tomorrow, uh, short and sweet, we pass this thing in four trades. If it takes two tomorrow, we pass it in five trades, no problem. Um, I know some people, they often say, oh, you don't show any losers. Uh, I've literally shown you every trade. There's been three trades so far, and I'm hoping there's one more, and that's it. There's, I just do not take uh, several trades. Um, so, And certainly if there is a loser tomorrow, we'll eat it, and we'll move on, and we'll recoup. Uh, but definitely going to play it. Uh, game plan tomorrow is play it pretty strict. Like We are looking for like the best of the best. We want some, want some bit of volatility. We want a bit of action. And we'll get it, guys. So, apologize again. I mean, as you can tell, this jigsaw issue is more frustrating than anything to me right now. But uh, uh, I'm going to try and do some research today if I have time to see if others are having the same issue. Actually, I, I take that back. I know others have had similar issues. I did take a look yesterday. What I'm after is if there's a solution to said uh, problem. Um, all right, guys. That's it for day number two.
Hello everyone, welcome to day number three of the Take Profit Trader 150k evaluation. It is Wednesday, June the 28th, currently 8.53 a.m. Game plan, finish this up today. Ideally one trade short and sweet, four ticks is what we're after. Full clip, nothing short of that. Thanks for hanging in here this long, guys. I already know this uh, video is uh, extra long. I've been editing along the way to make it a little bit easier on the end. And, uh, you know, putting in all those goblin clips takes a bit of time. Speaking of goblin clips, I got my goblin mode t-shirt on today. No joke, I actually own this t-shirt. We're going full goblin mode. We are ready to do it. So while we wait for some activity, uh, just a quick summary since some of you are here actually for the trading, not just to listen to me talk. Uh, U.S. Treasury market opens at 8.20, so it's been open just over half an hour. Uh, you're looking at kind of the full range of activity since the market opened, so pretty tight. Uh, not a lot of volatility so far. We're definitely pushing down here at the bottom, but we're going to sit tight for a while and just watch this. Not, not in a rush. Game plan today is literally wait. We're going to be patient. We are waiting for an A+, plus, triple A+, plus, major league setup. Nothing but the best. We want in. We want the best of it from the start. We want a winner. One of those trades where you just jump in, it goes your way, and you're out before you know it. That's obviously the ideal situation. If we see that set up here, we'll definitely uh, stop talking and uh, make hay while the sun is shining. I mean, we're hanging out here at the low. We're watching. We're watching intently this tenure over here. If I start to see the indication they're going to bop this down, we're bopping with it, man. We're bopping. Like the big bopper. This is the 50s, guys. Game plan with uh, Jigsaw. No, I've had a lot of troubles. That's probably been my biggest disappointment with uh, kind of recording this week. I'm not sure I figured it out. I'm not sure I have an answer, but I've been just testing with it. So our game plan will be as soon as we enter trade, we are going to put a four tick take profit in place. So that's there. Even if then the data, like the visual gets goofed up, at least the, the actual trade is still executed and the take profit will be there. And of course, we'll just manage it in NinjaTrader like we have had to already so far guys i've had a lot of fun making this series and uh uh i'm already planning so i said from the start it's not a matter of if we're gonna pass it's you know when we pass this will happen so uh this account will be a nice 150k my first with take profit trader another account in my back pocket here gonna be trading this one on top of all the other ones there might be something in the works for next week as well. I've really enjoyed doing this series, so might uh, might have to do another series with uh, maybe a different company as well. And just to hearken back to the uh, Take Profit Trader deal, you may remember at the beginning of the video, I said right now the current promo, as you're watching this video, if it's uh, June 2023 and July 2023, the sale will extend. Use the code CFT. You get 40% off, but when you pass your valuation, which we're planning on doing here today, you will actually, when you, well, when you officially pass, you trade the full 10 days. So that'll be, you know, the end of next week. Um, you move into your pro account, but we would also be rewarded with an additional evaluation account of 150K. Oh, I like that they're doing that. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? yeah. Basically the same size or smaller if for some reason you want to opt for a smaller one. So... Uh, we'll have a second account to work on, but again, that happens after you kind of officially pass. I know I keep saying I'm passing today, but I'm I'm meet, meeting the profit goal today is, is what I'm doing. Uh, the actual passing will be after the 10 trading days. Oh, as well, guys, just since we're here waiting for something to happen, here's my take profit account. Here's our balance just to show nothing's changed. And uh, yeah, so we need... Again, I kept saying 1300 and 1400 yesterday. I mean, 1400 technically would get me over. Um, but like I said, if we just go for four ticks straight up, that'll be about $1,800. So well, we'll be several hundred dollars above. And that's where I can kind of go back and, you know, this where I said it can take a $15 winner or loser each of the subsequent days because um, we're starting to get some activity. Uh, we'll have a nice buffer just to finish that thought. I know a lot of times, guys, I'm making these videos, I start a thought and something happens and I don't go back to it. It is, while it's tempting to get in, it looks like we're going to push through. Oh, it is tempting. I like to see a little more volatility. Like, I really don't want to get in a trade and just be stuck here sitting, waiting to see if it breaks through. Like, we're not getting a, we're not getting a, a push, a nice push. Now, the U.S. 
uh, equities market isn't open yet. So, uh, and the, there's definitely an element of volatility once uh, that market opens as well. So, um, certainly an option to just kind of put this on ice for now, wait till after 930 and uh, see what the market gives us. If we don't see anything soon, that will probably be our game plan here. Um, although I do, I mean, I, I like this, like I said, this is tempting, but remember we need four full ticks. Well, I mean, technically over here also worth noting, if you want some more stuff to look at, it's worth evaluating like how many contracts have traded. Like, yes, they've traded down at this price, but for example, at this 137.07 price, only 99 contracts. Well, it just popped up a bunch more just traded. Um, but not a lot. And I mean, they flicked it down to here. They got 21 off. Um, this is actually a good example. You see the 21 traded right here. And that was the only 21 that had traded up to this point. They are, whew, they're pushing this down and this continues to be, here's what we're going to do guys. We're going to put our order here. So rather than go with the market price, I'm going to see, and it worked. Uh, if we can get filled and right away, we're going to do this. Um, just get filled for the slightly better price. I could have taken this price or sorry, this price. Um, but rather than just try to get, I mean, we're looking at four ticks. So every tick, every tick matters when it comes to treasuries. It is very, very touchy feely. Is this it guys? Do we get it? Is it this simple? Is it this easy? Um, we're definitely, if we can get, we're seeing all the signs so far look good guys. Come on. We, we, we're seeing these guys pull. We're seeing some pressure here. We just need this to pop down, just pop down. Can we get the pop? Of course, certainly an option would be just take this profit and we're halfway there and then we only need two more ticks. But I think there's potential here. So far, so good. These guys aren't fighting back. This is that slow grind we didn't want to get too much into, but we're on the right side of the of the price so all right at this point just for safety's sake guys we're getting out of this trade okay so that was one tick um and this did not clear out why is this not clearing out jigsaw continues to be not the best. I'm clicking on everything and this is like not disappearing. So it's either just phantomly there or this is going to goof us up. So guys, just to be clear, we're out of the trade. I'm going to show this now. Um, yeah, you see me clicking cancel about 20 million times. So, okay guys, I like quickly switched it back and forth and now it's not there. So I'm assuming that order's not there. So let me, I'm going to try to not bitch as much about Jigsaw today, but we're, we're well aware with my frustration. So there's our one trade. So we netted the one tick so far after commissions. Um, that's where we are. So we've gotten one of our four ticks we need. So now we just need three ticks. So a good book to read, if you want a book to read, is One Good Trade by Mike Bellafiore. And it basically the punchline is you focus on each trade, just the trade focus on it being a good trade, whatever the outcome, win or lose, you move on to the next trade. So that one's the winner. So great. We had a good trade. Now our goal is we need a one trade, three tick winner to reach our goal. And that's it. It doesn't matter where we've been. Say that trade was a loser, then that's fine. Say we had lost a tick on that trade instead. Okay. Now we know, okay, we need five ticks to pass today instead of four, if that had been a loser for a tick. So you just kind of, you got to, Take the good, take the bad, and just move on and look for the next good trade. So, 
um, we're in a good position here, guys. We basically peeled off one of four ticks that we need. Yes, of course, from the onset, I said I wanted to do, hopefully, in one in one good trade, I wanted four ticks. It didn't happen, but that's okay. I think we did pretty well there. We got out. It wasn't going our way. Um, I, when I glanced over here again, the pressure had kind of been off. Really would rather, if I have to piece it together one tick at a time, much rather do that than, than do kind of what I see a lot of traders do, which is just they're, they're up, they're down, they're just chasing it all over town. I'd rather really just pick this off one ticket, if I have to, one, one tick at a time. Um, obviously, still my overall game plan would be just actually like get a win on this. So, Okay, guys, fast forward half hour or so. Uh, U.S. market opened. Um, in the meantime, since the last trade, the, uh, the prices were down here at the low. They marched themselves back up to about the middle here, even further, and now been working their way back down to the low. Only notable thing, which didn't help us out, I put a little note in the video already I was editing while I was waiting, was um, you remember I commented on that initial trade. I said a take profit, I forget at what price, but it was four ticks. And then the, I closed the trade for one tick, and but that phantom order was still hanging there, and then it disappeared. I was like, okay, we're probably good. No, it actually executed when the price came down. It, it bought 15 contracts because it was a limit... It would have been a take profit in the trade I was in, but since it was just sitting there as a limit order to buy, it bought uh, 15 contracts. So luckily I was able to close it for no harm. I got out for the same price, but we did eat commissions. So just to show you, just so you know, uh, yeah, we're $75 lighter on the profit now because of that. So our mission is ahead of us. We still need three ticks. We're back to kind of the original situation where now we're down at this break low. Um, when it's kind of in the middle, I usually will just do nothing. This might be, yeah, this might be the time, guys. We're seeing some pulling. Let's... We're going to try the same exact, basically, trade that we did the first trade, where we try to get filled at the favorable price. We're almost fully filled, and there we go, and we need three ticks. Um, what I was starting to say is when it's in the middle, I don't do much. I'll usually just wait for it to go to one of the extremes. Um, really the break lows and highs are the more profitable areas to play. Like just trying to, to mess around in the middle doesn't usually work out too well. But all that aside, guys, is this the time we pass guys there? They were pushing here. I saw some big negatives. We can get this rally down. They're not shy. They traded 664 here. They're still like looking at this like this is where I know the trades here, but look at this, like negative, negative, they're pulling, they're at the low, like they're ready to crack this, they're cracking, they're cracking this egg, guys, is this it? Look at this, we love it, we want to see red, we want to see red. Oh, they're pushing and then they push it back, but I, I like the overall sentiment of what's happening here. I love negatives, love seeing green. We get another little crack here, I think we can do it. We are on the precipice, that's it, guys, done. Bingo! Passed, guys. That's a relief after all the, after all the rigmarole and the, the hoot nanny going on with Jigsaw. I don't know what's happening, but anyways, guys, all that does not matter at this moment, guys. We have passed Take Profit Trader 150k again. To just for those nitpickers, have not passed in quotes, but we've met the profit goal. All right, guys. So there is our combined PNL. Um, and hey, here's our balance, which is what's most important. I mean, all three are the same. Uh, 159, 393. So we met the 9,000 profit goal. We have almost $400 in buffer, which gives us plenty of buffer to do a one tick win or lose for the remaining seven days. No problem. Like I said, I just use 10 years myself. Most people opt for a micro and stuff. I personally have a vendetta against the micros. I wouldn't trade them uh, if I had to. 
that is it, guys. It, I feel very fulfilled, but also it's almost a little sad. The journey has come to an end, just like that. Uh, so let's recap. Let's recap real quick. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is the end of day three. Let me do a quick recap. Let me gather my thoughts so I can sum it all up. I want a nice, concise summary for you guys. Okay, guys, in my very fancy notepad, I put together my thoughts quickly just to sum up. Again, thanks, everybody, for watching. I know this video is, like, coming up on an hour. It probably is an hour at this point. I know it probably wasn't the most fun to watch me just complain about Jigsaw, but uh, that was the reality of how this went. Um, but more important, the bigger umbrella, I want to circle back to what I wanted to set out to show in this video and kind of summarize it. So in terms of trading, day one we did the two trades. Yesterday we did one trade. And then today we did two trade, two actual trades, intended trades, and then I had the one where it executed and I was able to flat it and get out for break even just the commission. So five act like five actual trades. We'll pass this now. I know I trade the full clip. I trade the treasuries, which has a high per tick value. So it's gonna vary person to person. But that comes to some of the key takeaways. So one Believe in yourself and your system. I 100% believe in that. You should, whatever you trade, however you trade, you use charts, you use indicators, you should just feel natural and feel comfortable executing your trades. Like, if you don't, if you feel hesitant, if you're like, oh no, I don't know about this trade, then don't take the trade. There's always another trade around the corner. Uh, patience. Now, we honestly did not even have to be ultra patient this whole time. Like, we found trades right out of the gate it is not even 10 a.m yet and we're done with this for the day so other days though are a lot slower moving not as much as happening whatever the case might be that's part of the patience you really just have to sit and wait um i think a big part of it next point is have a plan of attack for the evaluation as a whole and then each day i mean you saw me through the video i said here's what my plan is here's what i'm going to do and then the last point is adjust as needed that last to the trades today were kind of a good example of that like my original plan was just to try and wait and hit like a four tick winner out of the gate obviously it's easy to just say that of course everybody wants that but i legitimately was waiting for a bit more volatility it didn't happen so we said hey you know what change of plans let's grab the one tick and now we only have three remaining and boom here we are so hopefully that was of use to some people again hopefully um people enjoy this again um, this was with Take Profit Trader. I'm really looking forward to uh, being funded with them on as well. My plan is to celebrate by going and updating my website with my list of past trader evaluations and adding Take Profit Trader to that list. Be sure to check them out. Uh, link down below to Take Profit Trader and definitely use the code CFT. You will always get the best price, whatever the current promo is. And of course, you can always check out my website as well to uh, see more if you want to learn more about Take Profit. Uh, etc. Guys, thank you so much for watching this series, and I'm going to see you in the next video.